नमो ब्रह्मा ब्रह्मा संप्रदाय करते हो शंकराचार्य केशव अंबादरायण सूत्र भाष्य कृत वंदे भगवंत पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणा मूर्त नम सहनावत सहनोन सह वीरवाहे तेजस्वी शांचांतिक संसिध आदिमर्जित आनंद पूर्ण आत्मज्योतिरुपास्मे So we were uh, looking at the Akasha <coughs> Dikaranam. So in the Akasha Dikaranam, we looked at the introduction. Nanu Purvatra Avyabhicharita Apahata Papmatvadi Bambhalingena Rupatvatvadikam Anyathanitam Yatha Na Tathaiha Lingad Akasha Shabda Shruti Ranyathanitam Shakya. So another Chandogya Shruti reference is given <clears throat> the way earlier you reinterpreted the puro pakshi's interpretation you reinterpreted the mantra as discussed by puro pakshi as to the earlier adhikarana it was antara adhikarana this antaha was the conclusion it is not the jiva or a devata who is a jiva who is discussed in the aditya upasana or the akshigata purusha upasana similarly here or rather similarly here you cannot do it so it is dissimilar what is being quoted in chandogya is dissimilar to that you cannot reinterpret this in a different manner because लिंगाद आकाश शब्द श्रुति ही अन्यता नेतु न शक्य न शक्य वाय बिकॉज लिंगा देर इज द्रुति इज ड्यू टू लिंगा यू कैनॉट टेक इट एंड री इंटरप्रेट इन अनदर मैनर इज माई वॉइस क्लियर एक्चुअली देर इज लॉड ऑफ रेन हियर इवन इफ आई क्लोज दिंडोज इट्स आई एम नॉट श्योर विदर माई वॉइस इज क्लियर इट्स क्लियर Because I end up yelling and then uh, because uh, I have to hear this uh, rain, loud rain, so I end up yelling and then uh, I get a sore throat. So I try to contain my voice. So here, compared to linga, Shruti is baliyasi. Shruti is a stronger pramana. Therefore. Here, Shruti cannot be reinterpreted using Linga, says the Puro Pakshi. In what we saw, I just mentioned at the end of last part. This Akasha Adhikaranam discusses that Chandogya Mantra as to Asya Lokasya Kagati. There was a question to which the answer was Akasha Iti Ha Vaja. So the Shishya asked the Guru. as to what is the gati here is support what is the support of this prapancha this this loka not prapancha here loka because there is a discussion as to which is the support for sama that's where the discussion starts so akasha stallingat the sutra says akasha stallingat tasya balavatvad so the shruti is this what cannot be taken elsewhere meaning what cannot be reinterpreted is shruti compared to linga tasya shrute he balavatvad was the objection by the puro pakshi the answer given is akashaha tallingat meaning the interpretation of this mantra asya lokasya kagati there 
आकाश इति हवाच देर किम आकाश शब्द न भूताकाश अभिधीयते उत परम ब्रह्म इति विषय इति संशय भूताकाश इति पूर्व पक्ष पूर्व पक्ष इज सेइंग दिस लिंगा यूजिंग लिंगा यू कैन नॉट रीइंटरप्रेट आकाश और टेक द मीनिंग बाय लक्षण और हाउएवर यू डू इट बाय लिंगा यू कैन नॉट टेक the meaning as brahma why because akasha shabda shruti akasha has been mentioned there lokasya gatihi akasha asya lokasya gatihi the support is adhisthanam akasha that akasha cannot be taken to mean brahma due to linga because the shruti itself says akasha and akasha meaning can be taken as it is shabdartha you can be taken because it is a stronger इट इज स्ट्रांगर देन लिंग बट दी सूत्रकार से आकाश वॉट इज द मीनिंग दिस हियर आकाश ब्रह्म तल लिंग वॉट वॉज सेड अर्लियर इन दी अर्लियर सेक्शन ऑल्सो वॉट वॉज सेड इज दट सर्वपापम राहित्यादि धर्म दट इज ए लिंग तमोपदेशा दट विल बिकम लिंग टू understand the meaning of purusha as antaha as brahma who is aditye antaha and who is akshini antaha that purusha has to be brahma because sarva papma rahityam is the dharma which will become a linga here same tallinga the hetu is tallinga here what is that tallinga that brahma linga तल्लिंगा ब्रह्मलिंगा ब्रह्मलिंगा इज सीन फर्दर इट इज नॉट ओनली वन सिंगल सेंटेंस यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इन द कॉन्टेक्स यू हैव टू लुक एट द अदर श्रुति वाक्या विच स्टैंड अपोज टू दिस सिंगल श्रुति वाक्या देन दोज मल्टीपल श्रुति वाक्या विल बिकम लिंग ड्यू टू दैट ड्यू टू दोज मल्टीपल श्रुति वाक्या यू हैव टू यूज लिंग टू री इंटरप्रेट दिस श्रुति देर फोर आकाश ब्रह्म एव आकाश does not mean bhutakasha akasha asya lokasya ka gati iti akasha that akasha shabda this akasha shabda is to be taken as brahma because brahma linga is there how so we'll see more in the vritti purvenasya pratyudharana sangati but just as a background uh, this uh, mantra occurs in in 191 which handogya 191 so there if you look up this section what starts with as a discussion on sama so there is a discussion on sama earlier and then it that ends in the eighth section there and then the ninth section starts by asya lokasya kagati hi because what has gone by in the eighth section it began by three of the udgitas those who are uh, in udgita upasana they were experts and they said that let's start a discussion let's have a sabha vidvat sabha as to what is this sama let's discuss sama so when the three start the discussion one sits out and he says i will just watch over you discuss so what is the sama so the discussion starts with asya this um, uh, before landing on asya lokasya kagati what is this loka that asya asya kasya so to understand that we have to know that as the discussion started with sama what is the support for sama and then it is the discussion is carried forth by uh, different experts so samna ha ka gati hi that is the question there so when it starts so uh, so there are these three people who are discussing one says so what is the support of the sama the other answers at the swara swara ka samna ha gati riti swara iti ho vacha then swarasya ka gati what about that swara what is the support for that swara also so you have to land on the root support the foundation the foundational support so starting with sama you end with sama then swara swara is the support for swama then what is the support for swara 
प्राण हा प्राण इति होवाच प्राण से का गति ही देन प्राण से का गति ही देर अन्नम सो सो ऑन देन इट लैंड्स ऑन स्वर्ग फाइनली इट लैंड्स ऑन स्वर्ग स्वर्ग लोक देन इट इज स्वर्ग से का गति ही व्हाट इज द सपोर्ट फॉर दिस स्वर्ग आल्सो अस्य लोक से का गति ही दैट स्वर्ग से का गति देन ही सेज you should not ask more questions the ans the one who is answering he says you should not ask beyond swarga because swarga is the limit in for puro mimamsa also swarga is the limit so here the chandogya mantra discussion of sama what is support it lands on asya lokasya kagati there you should not answer that because it is swarga then the other says if someone were to say you know your head would fall off because of such kind of a misinterpretation what will happen is that sama will end up having no support because if swarga is the final gati hi of sama then that answer itself will make your head fall because it's an erroneous answer if somewhere someone where to say some pandita some gnani where to say to gnani in the upasaka de who is a vidwan in that upasana if he were to say may your head fall off your head would fall off indirectly sir bhashyakara says bhagwan bhashyakara says i am not saying so do i am not saying may your head fall then meaning what i know better than you then the person asks the one of them asks the one who was answering he says i do not know please tell me if there is a gati for swarga also so asya lokasya ka gati hi then those who are debating the second among them i, I just want, see these names are little complex i have to refer to the name i don't remember names who's who so therefore i am not taking names there you can refer if you are interested in the names but we are in, interested in what is the exact answer given so that person says swargasya gati hi that the gati for swarga is this loka this this loka prithvi loka this loka is support for swarga because swarga comes about as a result for karma done in this loka so a very loose explanation to give uh, but to understand for swarga also this karma loka this loka is the support i am paraphrasing then then he says okay for what is the support for this loka so he says no you should not ask anything further than this this is the foundational support this is the end there is nothing more than this then the person who is listening who is not participating in the sabha he says if somewhere where someone were to say that may your head fall off your head would fall off because your sama is still without support this loka cannot be the support for sama and thereby your sama will be supportless so i know better than you then the second person also says to the third one what do you think is the answer then could you please tell us i do not know the answer could you please teach us there this mantra occurs as to asya lokasya ka gati hi asya this loka which is the support for swarga which began with the support for sama through a series of gatis what was mentioned in the end so asya lokasya ka gati iti akasha iti hovacha and there is another section where prana so uh, prana is also mentioned in one place which is going to come up next so this is a uh, setup for this as to what is the background there so akasha iti hovacha and then there the discussion stops that akasha is described for the so what is this akasha because all this starts with the udgita udgita is a part of sama sama itself is either either pancha bhaktika or sapta bhaktika there are either seven parts to a particular sama or the second way is there are uh, second uh, you know second group is where there are seven parts to sama that is called as sapta bhaktika and the one which has five parts is called pancha bhaktika and it has to each of these has to be chanted by a particular person particular person means particular 
one qualified who has jnana in that that sama for each of the vedas there are four vaidikas and they each have a name so for rigvedis there are four hotas hotras hotas who chant rig mantras and then the yajurvedis there are four who are advaryus they offer oblations while chanting rigveda mantras etc uh, sorry yeah, yajurveda mantras and then the sama these panchabhaktika or saptabhaktika they are going to chant each one of them there are four again who are udhitas they are going to chant one part of that one part or you know the each one chants one part and then all of them chant all four chant the fifth part in the panchabhaktika the uh, brahma who are, there are four brahmas who are atharva vedis they oversee all this because they they are supposed to be qualified in all the four vedas they oversee what is going on and then they wherever corrections are needed if there is some error then they are supposed to correct it so this is the setup and in that karma this upasana is part of it so upasana these upasanas are karmaanga upasanas there in this discussion therefore these udghitas who are experts in udghita upasana this udghita now happens to be one part of sama in which there is one part is omkara that omkara is to be meditated upon as udghita so that is said here purvenasya pratyudharana sangati there is a counter example uh, meaning what you have interpreted earlier with the vishaya with that vishaya vakya this example that i am giving you here you cannot interpret it that manner that is the pratyudharana sangati that is the counter example so phalam tu purva pakshe bhutakasha drushtya udghito upasti siddhante brahma drushtya iti drashtavyam so in phalam purva pakshi what is the purva pakshi is phala with analysis of this mantra asya lokasya kagati the akasha ityo vacha so she says this udghita upasana the udghita upasana meaning having udghita buddhi in whatever is mentioned there in omkara that is the basic principle of udghita upasana now this udghita is udghita buddhi is to be had in various other things so there is a you know there are series of mantras as to where this udghita buddhi should be meaning what should you praise as udghita what should you do upasana as udghita there he says bhutakasha drushtya udghita upasti there this bhutakasha drushti bhutakasha buddhi should be there in udghita upasana so that is udghita upasana this purva paksha siddhanti says brahma drushtya so what should you see this this udghita upasana there also brahma drushti is there you should see this udghita as what as not as akasha as brahma this brahma which is the linga because tal linga brahma lingas are there not brahma is the linga but brahma lingas are there in the mantras which show that this akasha is not bhuta akasha panchamaha bhuta akasha but it is brahma itself so chandogye shruyate asya lokasya kagatihi tyakashayati hovacha ityadi and there are other mantras also ityadi tatra kim akasha shabdena bhutakasha avidhiyate utap parabrahma iti vishaye when there is a samshaya doubt as to whether this akasha shabda which is the gati for this loka is it and this loka in, in the sense then in the end after this discussion this akasha has to be seen as udghita udghita is this akasha brahma so that is the upasana section that follows so that akasha shabda is it bhuta akasha itself or meaning stands for its own meaning or by lakshana should you take brahma iti vishaye samshaye bhuta akasha iti purva paksha the purva pakshi says it is as as it sounds it is bhuta akasha itself panchamaha bhuta akasha should be taken as the meaning siddhantastu akasha shabdena brahma eva gruhyate 
Siddhanti says, no, it cannot be Akasha. The Akasha Shabda stands for Brahma. It means Brahma. Kutaha, Kasmat Karana, Tal Linga. Because there is a Linga like that. There is a, there is a Linga which shows that this particular set of Factors which are talked about, they cannot be in Akasha. So, Tal Lingat means Tasya Lingat, meaning Tasya Brahmana. That is Brahma there, Brahmana Linga. And what is that? Brahmana Yal, yal Lingam, Yat Lingam Brahmana Asti. What is that? Samastha Mahabhutadi Srishtyadikam. That is the Linga. Samastha Mahabhutadi Srishtyadikam. Adi Padena, you know, this uh, Stiti and Laya. So there are mantras which talk about that Akasha being the Srishti, Stiti and Laya Karana of Laya Karana means Laya Adhishthana, Stiti Karana as well as Srishti Karana of Samastha Mahabhutadi, of all the Mahabhutas, Bhautikas and the entire Prapancha. That itself cannot be Akasha. Your Maha, meaning Mahabhuta, Bhuta Kasha, that cannot be the Karana for the Jagat. Jagat Karana, Jagat, Srishti, Stiti, Laya Karana, it cannot be. Which we saw in the Janmadhyadi Karana. Janmadhyadi Sayataha. So similarly here, Akasha has to mean Brahma, that way, very Brahma which we saw in the Janmadhyadi Karana. Because of the same reason, because Brahma has been defined as Srishti Stiti Laya Karana. In Brahma Sutra also the Lakshana Vakya was given in the Janmadhyadi Karana. The same definition holds here also. So when you say sugar is sweet, that means wherever you taste sweetness, sugar has to be there. That sweetness belongs to sugar. Similarly, if you say Srishti, Stiti and Laya Karana is Brahma, then whatever is discussed as Srishti, Stiti, Laya Karana, that has to mean Brahma. Therefore, Akasha, if it is talked about as Srishti, Stiti, Laya Karana, it cannot mean Bhuta Akasha. It has to mean Brahma. Therefore, Samastha Mahabhutadi Srishtyadikam Yat Brahmana Lingam by Lakshana Vakya, which was given earlier. Brahma Lakshana, which was given in the Upanishad which were analyzed, Yato Vaimani, Bhutani, Jayanti, Ityadi. Similarly, here also Akasha is discussed as the Jagat Karana. Tasya Asmin Vakya Drishtatva, Tasya Lingasya. So, Shrishtyadikam Yad Lingam Brahmana Bhavati, Tasya Lingasya Asmin Vakya, Asmin Vakya Asya Lokasya Kagati, Iti Akasha Iti Hovache Iti Vakya, Drishtatvat, since that exact Lakshana definition of Brahma is seen with relation to Akasha in this mantra which follows there. Further there are other mantras. Because what is said in the mantra there, if you look up this mantra it says Asya Lokasya Kagati, it is Akasha Iti Huvacha, that much is quoted. Further, Sarvani Hava Imani Bhutani Akasha Deva Samutpadyanti Akasham Pratyastam Yanti Akasho hi Eve Evebhyo Jayan Akasha Parayanam. Akasha is the Parayana and Evebhya Akasha hi Eva Evebhya Jayan. Akasha is Jayaha Shrishta. Is subtler, is greater, is Karana of all this because Sarvani ha. Why Imani Bhutani, all these Bhutani, which is said here, Brahmana Yallingam Samasta Mahabhutadi, all these Mahabhutas, Imani Sarvani, Hava Imani Bhutani, Akasha Deva Samutpadyante, Jayante, they are born from Akasha itself. Therefore, Akasha has to mean Brahma. Why further Akasham Pratyastam Yanti? Finally, they are sustained and they resolve into Akasha. That Akasha has to be Brahma. Yattu linga chrutir baliyasi iti tanna. What 
ऑब्जेक्शन वॉज रेज बाय दी पूर्व पक्षी बिकॉज लिंगाद आकाश शब्द श्रुति ही अन्यता ने तुम न शक्य मीनिंग श्रुति ही लिंगाद ड्यू टू दिस लिंगा दैट यू हैव आकाश शब्द श्रुति ही लिंगाद अन्यथा ने तुम न शक्य वाय तस्या श्रुते है बलवत्वाद लिंगाद लिंग अपेक्षया बलवत्वाद कंपेर टू लिंगा दिस श्रुति इज स्ट्रॉगर बिकॉज पूर्व मीमांसका सेज दैट देर इज ग्रेडेशन इन एनालिसिस वेन यू एनालाइज जेमिनी सूत्र इज देर इन दर्ड चैप्टर थर्ड पाद थर्टीन थर्ड चैप्टर आउट ऑफ ट्वेल्व चैप्टर्स ब्रह्म सूत्र आर ओनली फोर चैप्टर्स बट देन दी पूर्व मीमांसा इज वेरी वास्ट पूर्व मीमांसा सूत्र Jaimini Sutras are twelve chapters. So in the third chapter, third section, some thirteen sutras says, "Shruti linga vakya prakarana sthana samakhya nam samavaye paradoro balyam artha viprakarshat." In gradations, paradoro balyam artha viprakarshat to interpret the or to reveal the artha. If you look at Shruti, Linga, Vakya, Prakarna, Sthana, and Samakhya, six of them, Samavaye Para Dorvalyam. If you think that okay, this is also there, that is also there, meaning Shruti is also there, Linga also there, then what is stronger? Shruti is stronger than Linga. If Shruti exists and Linga also exists, then you should take Shruti as superior. to interpret the artha of the vakya similarly linga is there vakya is also there then you should take linga as superior once linga is known then from linga you have to assume such a shruti that that kind of a shruti is there if it is not seen then that shruti is there somewhere and therefore this is the meaning so each will be a hetu to understand the earlier so you'll have multiple steps if you have only samakhya available no other earlier pramana is available for that then samakhya will be the only pramana being there so samakhya will indicate that there is sthana and sthana will indicate prakarana prakarana will indicate vakya vakya will indicate linga linga will indicate shruti and this is how you land on shruti or shrutyartha if multiple are there then in sequence the way we chant in the jaimini sutra each one is weaker than the earlier therefore if multiple one multiple are available then which one will become the pramana for interpreting the artha of the shruti artha of the uh, the vakya there as to what is does it really mean tatparya you will have to take the one which is there earlier in the sutra Jaimini Sutra that is stronger. So Shruti is the strongest. Linga is second strongest. Meaning Linga is weaker than the Shruti. Therefore, Puro Pakshi has said, "Yatto Linga Shruti baliya si iti." He has said that, and we agree. We agree that yes, in in analysis it is so. But here, Tanna, that analysis would not be appropriate. Why? Bhuya si naam Brahma Linga Shruti naam Anugraha ya ekasya Akash Shruti er Badasya Yuktatva. He says that even in Purusha, when you are analyzing, if there are many lingas which are there, and there is only one Shruti, the other linga vakya, linga vakya is there. I don't mean vakya as a pramana, vakya as a statement, as a mantra. So there, because that vakya in the sutra, Jaimini sutra, that is technical. It has a different definition. Vakya, what I am saying is that what in Vaya Karana will say, Eka Tinga Vakyam and ऑल्सो डिपेंड ऑन हाउ मेनी वाक्याज आर देर विच आर लिंग हाउ मेनी वाक्याज आर देर विच आर श्रुति इफ देर आर मल्टीपल दैट यू हैव टू डिस्कार्ड एज अपोज टू अ सिंगल देन 
you will have to weigh again you will have to do mimamsa again so bhuyasinam brahmalam linga shruti nam anugrahaya there are here shruti means that vakya that statement so there are shrutis which are brahmalinga and you have a shruti which is you know directly a shruti there is no this, that shruti is not indicating that is saying akasha so this is this is a shruti vakya which is just making a statement as asya lokasya akasha gatihi bhavati this is the plain meaning with anvaya now when this akasha is this shruti vakya is giving a shruti you say this this is a shruti uh, direct shruti is there you directly hear the word akasha akasha is a shruti there in this vakya akasha is a shruti so this akasha here is heard directly then you cannot replace it with brahma by linga but there are other shrutis which are brahma linga which are those which follow there as to sarvani va imani bhutani akasha deva samutpadyante that is a shruti vakya which is a linga for brahma because brahma word is not there brahma is not a shruti there meaning brahma is not shruta there not heard you don't hear brahma there at all in this mantra there is no word brahma at all but akasha word is there however this akasha word the shruti will not stand in its own meaning because multiple shruti vakyas are opposed to it by showing that it is a brahma linga because the lakshana vakya was given in other shruti also yato vaimani bhutani jayante that vakya will also stand defeated lakshana vakya which is a shruti which is a shruti itself that will stand in opposition and if you interpret akasha as bhuta akasha then that will get defeated which is something which is anishta to the puro vimamsaka also or anyone who is a follower of a veda of who is a vaidika who is a who is a nastika therefore multiple lingas which are showing this akasha means brahma bhuyasi nam brahma linga shruti nam anugrahaya to you know keep them safe keep them keep them safe from misinterpretation elsewhere to restore the shraddha in that shruti vakyas all shruti vakyas in vedas and in mimamsa of the vedas what should you do you should compromise one against many that's that a simple laukika rule you know if if you have to compromise many versus one you end up compromising one so here samasta mahabhuta ati srishtadikam that vakya becomes linga all those vakyas become bhuyasa linga so bhuyasi nam brahma linga nam bhuyasi nam brahma linga shruti nam anugrahaya ekasya shruti he that one shruti which you are insisting that it should, the akasha should mean akasha itself because it is a shruti and it is not uh, weaker than linga it is stronger than linga ekasya akasha shruti badas yukta tvat what is yukta what is appropriate bada of one shruti against multiple linga shruti brahma linga shruti therefore your objection is not right think over says the siddhanti to the puro pakshi akasho he gave bhyah iti shrutyantaracha further he says there is another shruti if you want shruti i'll give you another shruti akasho hi evebhya jayan evebhya bhutakashebhya that's what it means so if you want shruti akasha is superior to all mahabhutas the mahabhutas also include akasha akasha cannot be superior to akasha itself but that has said there it is shruti vakya itself so what will you do with that shruti vakya which will come up later in the it is there in uh, this ninth mantra ninth also in not ninth mantra 191 also it is there and 3413 3413 where bhutakashas are discussed so if you look at that mantra 3413 there Uh, yeah, three, three, fourteen, three. I'm looking at okay. So there, um, it says. Perhaps I have the wrong mantra written there. Mark the error. 
Uh, I'll cross check this number may not be right. So um, let me just um, cross check there quickly. So this is quoted from Bhashya. So Bhashya will have the uh, right quotation. It has a longer quotation. So just let me look up the Bhashya there. So there Akash Adhikaranam, there it is said, um, Bhagavan Bhashya Kara quotes this. Sarvani Hava Imani Bhutani Akasha Deva Samutpadyante and then he also quotes Tasmadva Etasmad Atmana Akasha Sambhutaha Akasha is born from that so Akasha Mahabhuta is born from Atma Brahma Sad Brahma so that Satchidananda Brahma is that from which Akasha is born Akasha is not the source for everything, he quotes that also, Taitri Upanishad Mantra and then he says, yeah, 3.14.3, it's the same mantra there, Jayan Prithivya, Jayan Antarikshad, uh, then Jayan Divo, Jayan Ebhya Lokebhya, so when Akasha is says to be Jaya, Jayan, then Prithivi, compared to Antariksha also, Diva Swarga Loka also, all these Loka, Lokebhya, there Prithivi is mentioned, Prithivyaha. So then, being superior and also Ebhya, there you can take the Akasha being superior to everything including Mahabhutas. Then what will happen is that, that Akasha which is discussed there cannot stand for its own meaning by the Shruti itself. Therefore, your Shruti will stand countered by another Shruti and thereby you have to interpret this as, uh, yeah, here. So, Akasho Kevebhya has to be understood as this Akasha is Brahma and therefore the earlier gone by Akasha is also Brahma. Iti Shrutyantaracha Akasha Shabditam Brahma Evatra Udgite Upasthamiti Siddham. Therefore, what should you understand this Akasha Shabdita Brahma? Not Akasha as Akasha, but Akasha Shabdita means with Akasha what is meant? Lakshitam. What is meant is Brahma. By Lakshana you have to take Brahma. Otherwise, many Shrutis and many Lingas will get comp compromised. Maybe in, in not that, maybe not in that section, Shruti may not be get compromised in that section. But overall, if you look at it, then Shrutis will be countered by this one single Shruti. So, this single Shruti has to be reinterpreted, not only because of Lingas in that section, but because of multiple Shrutis elsewhere also, which, which are the reason for us to use this Linga as Pramana and multiple Lingas which come from multiple Shrutis elsewhere, they will be stronger than this single Shruti in that section. So that was uh, mentioned here, uh, yeah, actually I have uh, noted this, Akasho um, Hevebhyo Jayan Akasha Parayanam and then Jayan Prithivya Jayan Antariksha Jayan Divo Jayan Ebhya Lokebhya. So both can be taken starting with this mantra itself, uh, the, there also this quotation is there, uh, this uh, statement is there and it is there further in the third chapter also. Then the Puro Pakshi says that he quotes something else, meaning he has some other uh, uh, Vakya or another uh, Shruti in the mind where Brahma cannot be taken as the meaning. The way he said that here in earlier Adhikarana, what was the Vishaya in the Antarami Brahmana was quoted there as a Pramana by Siddhanti and then as a counter to that, he brought up Akasha in the Udhigita Upasana. Now he says, what about Prana? Prana also has to be in its own meaning. If, if not Akasha, not also, he says, if Akasha is not in, the own, in its own meaning, Prana is in its own meaning. In the same section there, in, in same section in the sense, in the same chapter, not section. Section is different, but the uh, in the first chapter itself, in the Udhita Upasana, there is discussion of Prana. 
एज अ कंक्लूडिंग स्टेटमेंट सिर्फ आकाशा मीन्स ब्रह्म प्राणा कैन बी टेकन एज मीनिंग प्राणा मीनिंग वॉट वाई वाई डज हैव टू ब्रिंग अप आकाश और प्राणा वाई डज हैव टू डिस्कस दी आदित्य कथा पुरुषा और दी अक्षी कथा पुरुषा the entire idea see why are we looking at this because puro pakshi is countering your samanvaya samanvaya in brahma is being talked about in this sam in this adhyaya what is being talked about their samanvaya is mentioned so when you talk about samanvaya of all shrutis in brahma puro pakshi has to show an exception whereby your samanvaya will stand compromise will will be defeated what you are saying that all shruti have tatparya in brahma that will be false that will be refuted so puro pakshi is bringing in akshigata purusha if that akshigata purusha does not mean brahma in that section if it is jiva as an upasya then your saguna brahma will not be upasya as a tatparya vishaya Brahma will not be upasya, let alone to be known as nyaya Brahma. So, if Brahma is not upasya as tatpare vishya in any section, then how will you say that Brahma is nyaya as tatpare vishya across all Upanishads? You cannot say that. This is the mind of the puro pakshi therefore he keeps on bringing one vishaya or the other one mantra or the other where he can somehow interpret that as not meaning brahma at all by lakshana or by shruti however it is so akasha stallinga showed that akasha means brahma so brahma is the tatpare vishaya and therefore samanvaya will get stronger the claim of samanvaya of puro paksh of of siddhanti of advaita vedanti saying that there is samanvaya of all upanishad mantras in brahma as a tatpare vishaya that will get stronger so akasha shabditam brahma eva atra udgite upasyam iti siddham is the end of the a- akasha adikarana just one shl- one sutra there prana adikarana also has one sutra akasha nyayam anyatra ati dishati If the puro pakshi talks about prana has its own meaning, does not mean brahma. The same talingat hetu will apply to prana also to be interpreted as brahma because it is the very next section in that chandogya pratham adhyaya where puro pakshi is quoting akasha as akasha. It was refuted as. Brahma by the Siddhanti. Now the very next section talks about prana. Prana adi karanam. Ata eva prana ha. Ata eva prana ha. So Siddhanti says ata eva. Ata eva means talingat eva. Akasha ha Brahma talingat Brahma linga. Similarly here ata eva prana means Brahma linga prana ha Brahma eva. Which prana which is discussed in the upasana udgita upasana further as to uh, we we'll look at the mantra there what is quoted but same discussion there but then the udgita upasana what should be meditated upon as what there prana is the conclusion what does that prana word mean so atra atideshatvat prutak sangatir na apekshita because it is an atidesha atidesha is extending the same analysis what is being done this context is expanded to some other area some other vishaya some other mantra therefore everything else holds everything in the earlier sangati holds here except the vishaya vishaya is changing but the phala is same puro paksha is similar so separate sangati is not needed it has the same sangati as earlier why ati deshatva that is the hetu here yadva otherwise other possibility is what that may be one possibility sangati is not needed yadva purvam akasha shrutehe avyabichari brahma lingad badho yukta yatha yukta na tatha iha prana shrutehe badha yukta 
or you explain that what is the Puropakshi's mind. It is not exactly the same. So he is saying the way Akasha Shrute Avyabhichari Brahma Lingad Badha Yatha Yuktaha. So Kasya Badha Yuktaha Akasha Shrute Badha. Akasha Shruti was sublated by bringing in linga, although a single linga would have been a weaker pramana, multiple lingas are there and Shrutis elsewhere are there which show that Brahma is the Jagat Karana, not Akasha. Therefore, a single Shruti was Badita. So, Badha Yatha Yuktaha, it was established. And it was appropriate also. Pura Pakshi had to give in. Why? Avyabhichari Brahmalinga. This Brahmalinga was not Vyabhichari. Brahmalinga remained common across all Shrutis. Everywhere you see the same Brahmalinga is talked about. What is that? Shrishti Siti Layakarana. That is Avyabhichari Linga. There is no Vyabhichara in the Linga. There is no, there is no difference in Lingas. But Shruti is different elsewhere. Somewhere Akasha is said to be Karana, somewhere Prana is said to be Karana, somewhere Sad Brahma is said to be Karana. But if you go across Shruti is everywhere Sad Brahma, Chid Brahma, Anandatmaka Brahma, that Brahma Linga does not change. Shruti also does not change, which talks about Brahma Jagat Karana and Lingas also show about, show Brahma itself everywhere. If you analyze using that Linga, everywhere you will land upon Brahma. So, Purvam Akasha Shruti He Badha. Why? Due to Avya Bichari Brahma Linga. So, Avya Bichara, what is that? The uh, the Shruti, although it is stronger, it is compromised now because you can see Vyabhichara in Shruti. So, Shrutehe Avyabhichari Brahma Lingad Badha indirectly says this, this Shruti that you are showing that has Vyabhichara with other Shruti. But Pura Pakshi is saying what? Na tatha iha prana Shruti Badha Yukta. But prana cannot stand compromise that way. You cannot use linga and say that there is avyabhichari linga. Why? Because here there are other reasonings also which are there in support of my interpretation says the Puro Bhakshi. What is that? Samveshanadi lingasya pranasadharnataya brahma avyabhichara abhava iti pratyudharana sangati. So either you take it as the same sangati as which was there earlier or you take yadva another Sangati which is Pratyudharana Sangati. Earlier Sangati was also Pratyudharana Sangati. It was a counter example to the Purusha Vakya. Now this Akasha has been reinterpreted but Prana cannot be reinterpreted. Prana is a counter example. Prana Vakya, Prana Vakya becomes a Vishaya as a counter example to the earlier Akasha interpreted as Brahma. So Prana cannot be interpreted as Brahma. And reasoning is there, more reasoning is there. Because earlier Brahma Linga Avyabhichara was shown by the Siddhanti. Now, if the Purva Pakshi can show Vyabhichara in the Brahma Linga, meaning not every statement that is made means Brahma by Linga, there, the statements which are analyzed as Linga one of those lingas will be for Abrahma also. Some, something other than Brahma. What is that? Samveshana adi lingasya. Samveshana is praveshanam. The merging or union there. So in that meaning Samveshana is there. So you replace sam with pra, you will get. So sam purvaka veshana will give you Samveshana. But pra purvaka veshana will give you praveshana. So pravesha. So, Samveshanadi Lingasya Pranasadharanataya. The, if the Samveshana is taken as a Linga merging with the Upasya, merge with the Upasya, there merging with Upasya is there with Brahma, I agree. You merge with Brahma, Saguna Brahma, 
as an upasana phala. But there is vyabhichara in that linga. Elsewhere, one who meditates upon Brahma merges with Brahma. Not in the complete sense, it will by Advaita Siddhanta, it will always be there will always be punaravrti in such kind of a merging by karma and upasana. But there is merging. Puro Pakshi agrees with that. However, he says it is an avyabhichari linga. Sorry, if you claim it is avyabhichari linga, it is not avyabhichari linga. There is vyabhichara. Anyata siddham. Vyabhichara here is anyata siddham. Avyabhichara would be ananyata siddham. It is not possible in any other way, if that is, you know, with any other Samagri, if it is not possible, then it will be Ananyata Siddha and there will be Avyabhichara. But if it is Anyata Siddha, other meaning, another manner also if you can have merging, that Samveshana, Samveshana Adi, that Linga will show that since it is possible in another manner, Therefore, it is Anyata Siddha and that leads to Vyabhichara in your Linga. So, Samveshanadi Linga se Prana Sadharanatya because in the Prana also there can be Samveshana. Where is this Vakya? Oh, there are many Vakyas where in Prana the Indriya Laya is talked about. In Prana there is Indriya Laya. Do you agree? Asti Puro Pakshi, Siddhanti has to say yes there because just for the statement, yes there is a statement but what that means is a different matter for the Puro Pakshi and the Siddhanti. But does such a Shruti exist which says that in Prana there is Indriya Laya? In Shushupti, in Shushupti there is Vagindra Vagadi Indriya Laya is there in Prana. That will become Linga as to what there is just like Upasya merges with the with Brahma or there is Laya, in Pralaya there is Laya in Brahma, merging basically, whether due to Upasana or due to some other reason, Sushupti. So Sushupti, you know, they say, you know, uh, uh, there is a Stuti where, uh, you know, the, uh, the uh, Sushupti itself is Samadhi Avastha. So in comparison there, there is merging there, which is called as Nitya Pralaya. So, just like in Pralaya, there, is, there may be merging into Brahma or Maya really, Saguna Brahma otherwise. Similarly, Nitya Pralaya Sushupti, there is merging into Prana, claims the Puro Pakshi. So, Samveshana Adi Lingasya, this Praveshana of Vagendriya into Prana is Shruta and that will become Linga, Prana Sadharanataya Brahma Avyabhichara Bhava, because the merging is into Prana in Sushupti not elsewhere. Therefore, that is a prana sadharana laya. Samveshana is a linga which is showing prana. Sadharana it is showing prana, not anything else. Therefore, not everywhere your samanvaya is possible into Brahma as the resolution ground. And if you if here you have failed, then we will reinterpret everything that has gone by and say that there also it is there is Vyabhichara. Brahma avyabhichara abhavad means double negation. There is, an, there is one nunj with vyabhichara and there is another nunj with bhavad in abhava. So avyabhichara avyabhicharasya abhava meaning vyabhicharasya bhavaha meaning vyabhicharaha. So Brahma avyabhichara abhavad means Brahma vyabhichara. Iti pratyudharana sangati. That is the other way you can look at the sangati here. What is the phalam? Phalam to puro pakshe pranadrishtya Prastavopasti Siddhante Brahma Drashtayati Drashtavyam. However, what is the difference in the phala? Puro Pakshi says you have to look at prana, talked about in the Udgita Upasana as prana itself. Prastavopasti Siddhante Brahma Drashtayati Drashtavyam. In Siddhanta, though, it should be taken as with Brahma Drashti. Prana is not prana literally. Just like earlier, earlier Akasha is not Akasha literally, it is. Brahma. Similarly, Prana is not Prana. It is Brahma. So, here what is quoted? Chandogye Shruyate Udgite. Udgite means Udgite Upasana. In the Udgite Upasana section, which has 
continued in the first chapter from the ninth section, which was talking about Akasha as Upasya, as Udhita. Similarly, now in the tenth section, Prana is talked about. So here, uh, this particular uh, Rishi, Chakra and Rishi will keep on coming back again. So we will discuss more there, but I, briefly I will just tell you, I will not go into the background of the story. But uh, there is this uh, Chakrana who is uh, looking at uh, looking at some means of livelihood. So there is a you know uh, there is a lot of uh, damage due to lack of rain. There is a lot of damage to crops, and then he is moved elsewhere. And then there is a other background which will come up uh, later. We'll talk about it then. We we'll look at it then. But then he somehow, you know, he gains a little strength. He is, you know, almost on the uh, verge of death. And then somehow he eats some food and survives. And then he tells his wife, if I get a little strength now with this food, I will go to the king and then ask him to, because he is a Vidwan. He is a Vidwan. He knows all Upasanas. He is an expert in the Sama Udgita, Udgita Upasana and the Karma also there, Sama Karma. So he says that I will go and lead whatever Yaga the king is getting done. There I'll lead it and then I'll get good Dana, Dakshina, with which will survive in this particular area where there is some food. Otherwise he does not have Dhana for food also. Where he came from there was no Dhana, there was no food also. There was no Anna. So he goes to the king where there is... Um, Yaga etc going on but they don't have anyone qualified to lead so there is a discussion here as to so what I mentioned earlier as to four uh, four of each Vedas are there there in the in that Sama Yaga there out of the four Udgatas one is a Prastota that Prastota is supposed to chant the Prastava out of the uh, five in the Panchabhaktika Sama. One of the parts is it called as Prastava. That Prastava should be chanted by Prastota, who is one among the four Samavidis who are called as Udgatas. So Prathama Sama, first Sama has to be sung by this Prastota because Sama is sung, others are chanted, Sama is sung. Then the Rigvedi Hotas do what they have to do. They, they chant their Rigveda. Yajurvedis, Advaryus do oblations and perform, uh, offer oblations. Atharvedis, Brahmas look over this. Now this, uh, this Rishi went there and he said, he looked at, looked at the Sabha, looked at the Panditas who are conducting this Yaga. But then he saw this Prastota is not qualified. None of them are really qualified. He is the only qualified there. So he says, so that is said here, Chandogya Shruyate Udgite. This is the background as to where this mantra occurs. Prastota, Prastotar Ya Devata. So there, Prastota, this Prastota is, is Prastotr Trijanta. So He Prastota, He Prastotaha. The Sambodhana is, hey Prastotaha, Ya Devata. In the Prastava, do you know who is the Devata? So there is a long mantra, part is quoted, Ya Devata, do you know who is the Devata there? He doesn't say, do you know? He assumes he does not know because the way it has to be done, it is not done in that manner. He knows that person does not know. This is the Rishi's perspective there. And then he says, he prastota that ya devata without having vidyana of that devata iti prastutya having because it is in 1109 in chandogya then in 1115 iti prastutya having presented so having addressed the prastota so devate iti prana iti hovacha who is that devata without knowing that devata without having vidyana of that devata if you Chant the prastava. When I am here, there is another person present who knows the devata, then your head would fall off. 
Meaning it is not right. You should not be chanting the prastava without knowing the devata. When there is another present who knows the devata. So either you let that person chant who should become prastota or you should learn and then chant. So this is the reason as to why this mantra comes up and then he says, Oh, I don't know. The Prasota says, I do not know. Please teach us. Please tell us. Who is the Devata? There, Devata is the Prana is the Huvacha. That Prana is the Devata in the Prastava, in the Pancha Bhaktika Sama. So, Prana is the Devata because if you do the karma and chanting and whatever is there, Upasana, knowing the details very well, then it will have more phala. So, Devata is the Prana is the Huvacha. Ityadi. That is heard there. Now that Devata is Prana. So what should you do? Udgita Upasana on. You should do it on Prana Devata there. Says the Purva Pakshi. Tatra kim Prana Shabdena Brahma Bidiyate Uta Vayu Vikara Iti Samshaye Vayu Vikara Iti Purva Pakshaha Purva Pakshi says Prana means Prana, Vayu Vikara. Prana is a Vayu Vikara. That Prana Devata is Vayu Vikara. Prana means prana itself. Because there is a doubt. The doubt is created by the Siddhanti who says that prana cannot mean prana here. So Siddhanti says, no, this is not prana. Prana shabdena brahma abhidhyate. Siddhantasu. Siddhanti says, Siddhantasu prana shabdena brahma eva abhidhyate. Prana means brahma, not prana itself. Kutaha. Why so? Because Pura Pakshi is saying, devata iti prana iti huvacha. That means prana itself. There is a shruti there. Kutaha kasmat karanat. Why, do, why does Siddhanti say that? Prana has to mean Brahma. Atayeva. Same reasoning given earlier. Purva sutra ukta tal linga deva. Brahma linga deva. Because prana cannot mean prana. There are lingas which show that they are Brahma lingas, not prana lingas. They show prana has to mean Brahma, not prana itself. Tasya tal linga this. Tallinga is Tasya Linga. Tasya is Brahmana. Tat is Brahma. Tasya Brahmana. Yal Linga. What is that Linga? Prana Meva Avisam Vishanti. Just like earlier Akasha. Similarly here Prana. Prana. The attained Prana. Prana Meva Avisam Vishanti. Ityadi Sarvabhuta Samveshana Adikam. Tasya Asmin Vakke Drishtatva. Because in that 11.5 mantra. What has been said is that. They attain prana. <coughs> they attain prana. Over those they are talked about as as the basis into which they merge. In the, they, they are talked about as all of those merge into Brahma. Not prana. So they cannot merge into prana. It is a Brahma Linga. Merging into what? So, prana iti huvacha sarvani hava imani bhutani pranam eva abhisam vishanti pranam abhyu sanjihate saisha devata prastavam anvayatta tam ched avidvan prastoshyo murdhate vyapatishyat tathoktasya maya iti. So, the, he had said that your head will fall off if you chant. Without knowing the Devata in front of me, that Deva is Prana and unto that Prana there is merging. Sarvani Bhutani, <coughs> the, all the Bhutas including Prana, it's, uh, I mean, all the Mahabhutas merge into Prana. Where do you see this? Where is the merging of all the Bhutas into Prana? You can say that the Indriyas merge into Prana, but what about the Bhutas? Pancha Mahabhutas merge into Prana. There is no such thing. That is not possible. It will merge into its own Karana. Prana is not Karana. Karya has to merge into its Karana. Here the merging is into Brahma. Because Laya is into Brahma. That is the Brahma Linga. It is not Prana Linga at all. So that is the answer given by the Purva Pakshi, uh, Siddhanti to the Purva Pakshi. Atayo Purva Sutra Ukta. Tallinga Deva, Tasya Brahmana Linga Deva. What is that? Yat Lingam. 
प्राणमेव अभिसंवेशन्ति इत्यादि सर्वभूत संवेशन आदिकम ऑल दी महाभूत मर्ज इन टू दैट एंटिटी व्हाट इज दैट एंटिटी प्राण cannot be prana literally it has to mean brahma because mer- or merging of the bhutas laya of the bhutas into something that something has to be brahma because nothing else can be the ground of resolution for mahabhutas so tasmin vakye drishtatvat na cha pranam tari vagapyeti this was the counter which i mentioned in the introduction there the shatapata brahmana yajurveda has a statement pranam tarhi vag apyeti puro pakshi says that i'll complete with this i'll finish this uh, one line and stop all the over short time i'll just finish this nacha pranam tarhi vag apyeti the prana is the resolution ground for vak and that prana is vayu vikara there it is not brahma because the vak merges into prana has been said in the shatapata brahmana that prana there there is no intention of taking it as brahma there it means prana is vayu vikara siddhanti says iti na vachyam meaning nacha pranam tarhi vagapyeti ityadina vayu vikare api shrutam iti vachyam iti na vachyam you should not say that prana does not mean brahma it means vayu vikara because shatapata brahmana is a pramana there where prana means vayu vikara siddhanti says no you don't say that why tatra indriya samveshana deva shrutatva uh, tatra indriya samveshana dehe eva shrutatva there only indriya laya is talked about not bhuta laya mahabhuta laya has not been talked about there so what, what is the samvesha na pravesha of indriyas into what prana pravesha of what indriyas into what kind of prana vayu vikara yes we agree vayu vikara but merging of what of only indriya not mahabhutas ataha ananyata siddha brahmalingat prana shabda vidheyam brahma eva upasyam iti siddham ataha anyatha anyatha siddham would show व्यभिचारा बट वॉट अन्यता सिद्धम यू आर सींग दिस प्राणम तरी वागप्यति शोज दैट प्राणा ईज द रिजोल्यूशन ग्राउंड एज वायु विकारा नॉट एज ब्रह्म देर फोर युअर अव्यभिचार लिंग अभाव इज देर बिकॉज ऑफ अन्यता सिद्धत्व दैट इज नॉट ट्रू सिद्धांति से अनन्यथा सिद्ध ब्रह्मलिंग ब्रह्मलिंग इज नॉट अन्यता सिद्ध इट इज नॉट व्यभिचारी लिंग इट इज अव्यभिचारी लिंग स्टील अनन्यता सिद्ध इज दट अव्यभिचारी लिंग वॉट वॉज कोटेड अर्लियर एज दिस अव्यभिचारी ब्रह्मलिंग वॉज दि रीजन फॉर बाध ऑफ दि श्रुति सिमिलरली हियर अव्यभिचारी ब्रह्मलिंग इज देर अनन्यता सिद्ध मीन्स अव्यभिचारी ब्रह्मलिंग प्राण शब्दा विधेयम ब्रह्मे उपास्यम सिद्धम what is the reason given the prana used there is vayu vikara is all right but indriya laya is talked about we are not talking about indriya laya we are talk about jagat laya because bhuta laya means jagat laya bhutas are the cause for bhautika and bhautikas are the prapancha that you see objectify that you transact with <clears throat> therefore indriya laya is all right we do not have an issue with indriya laya into prana as vayu vikara but bhutalaya cannot be into prana as vayu vikara there it has to mean brahma because that is the lakshana lakshana of brahma is not you know vagindriya karana there vagadi indriya karana we did not give that lakshana we have given the lakshana as per the shruti shruti has to yato vayamani bhutani gayante so shrishti sthiti laya shrishti sthiti bhanga karana is brahma therefore wherever shrishti sthiti bhanga any of those are talked about let alone all three that word has to be in the meaning of brahma by linga not vayu vikara so that is the pranadikaranam so pranadikaranam is also only one sutra now the uh, puro pakshi will bring the gayatri upasana we will look at that in the next part ha amna yantaika samsiddham adi madhyanta varjitam आनंद घन महापूर्ण महात्म ज्योतिरुपास्मे सॉरी आई वॉज अ लिटिल जिटरी टुडे ड्यू टू दि नॉइज आउटसाइड माई थ्रोट एंड 
going back and forth some quotations which I was unable to find. So that's why I was trying to make some notes with references but it was incomplete. You know, there are some uh, errors also there. I wanted to fix that but yesterday I couldn't work on it. Any else see in the next part, huh? Namaste. <coughs> Namaste. 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 Namaste.